was going into the race with a very good feeling. Um, I just felt very strong from a mindset, um, also on the body side. Um, so the third place is definitely something I'm very proud of. I know the feeling about um, going on the podium, but still an elite, um, going on the podium is something more special, I think. I mean, I'm still nervous if I have to open the champagne or something, <laughs> but now I'm able to enjoy it because at the first podiums you are nervous about doing something wrong and now I have the self-confidence. Well, I feel, I feel great. I was a bit nervous to be honest. And we knew that she's gonna perform really well on that course, but uh, with a third place, I mean, uh, it was unbelievable. I, honestly, I was so happy for Mona because it's just something she really deserves, uh, and this is just the beginning. Making photos, signing some caps or photos, I don't know. It's a very special feeling because you just did something what you are really proud of and afterwards you get the reward. You can't do it after every race, you know, so <laughs> you ha really have to enjoy those moments. dinner after the race in Alpstadt was, um, <laughs> I mean it's a memory I will, um, yeah, I will keep in my heart I would say because yeah, it's so beautiful if you race hard, train hard but then you have, then there's a dinner where you have a good laugh, you yeah, make some jokes and also uh, <laughs> we are having very very delicious food. And with Cannondale I think it's like they really, they really have a look at the riders that they're not like always in working mode so uh, yeah I think that was yeah just a very very nice evening yeah I, I hope you all know how how much I appreciate to be here with Cannondale and I'm really looking forward to the next races um, I think travel days are not so bad of course <laughs> often you are like really broken after uh, a car drive of eight hours but I mean I'm never bored all stuff that I was not able to do before the race weekend I try to do it in the car or on the plane I was quite um, impressed about our apartment or apartment rental house it's like being on vacation I think it's very important that you have um, a good place to sleep because then you are able to calm down after training, after racing, and then you are more ready to go. The track in Nova Mesto is actually very, very cool. It's also very demanding. It's um, very hard for body and mind. It reminds me of the ra my home race in Heiming, actually, because there are a lot of routes, it's the same underground. You're also not able to recover um, in the downhills because you have to be focused all, all the time. It's very cool that um, with Cannondale we have um, a technical coach, so I went on course with KG. It's super cool because he knows all the lines. Um, he also knows what I'm capable of, so he shows me not the most extreme lines. There are fast lines, but they are only fast if you can ride them fast, so he shows me the lines I can ride fast. Looking at the grass, looking ahead, nice break in. Okay. But I was on the outside. Don't worry about that, you just go light and as soon as you know your back wheel's over it, just kick, but drive it straight. It's always when I'm missing a little bit of self-confidence going into a track, it feels like I'm riding super slow, but as soon as I have self-confidence, it feels like I'm flying.
I definitely knew that going into this team would be a very, very yeah, big step and also a step up. I'm happy that I have the possibility that I can ask people around me um, who know a lot and I can trust them because there are so many questions in your mind as a pro athlete and you, if you have to sort it all yourself, it can get very difficult if you have to make so many decisions on your own. Uh, yeah, we're having a very good time at the moment. Um, it's just nice to have chats um, in between trainings or at dinner or at breakfast. So you get to know the people more. So yeah, it feels like a second family right now. Also, my dad and I, we both appreciate that he still can be around at the races. Um, he's, he supported me since I started cycling, so he's a very, very important part of my career. Also for him, he just wants to have, have a look if everything's going fine for me. And that's something um, I'm also proud of, to have a dad that's, that is a former downhill rider. Um, he's also supported me in every way. I mean, my whole family does. And I think that's, that's a big, big part of being successful to have a team but also family that gives you space to be who you are, supports you in bad times and also in good times. So Nobel Mesto is really it's the first time I have four races in two weeks. So it's really, it was, it's something that's really new for me. Well, it's more about energizing. So if there's like something you feel with your body, you work on that. And if everything's okay, it's, you just do your normal routine. So it's all about recovering and getting ready. With what I achieved last year, um, everyone is just expecting to, um, me to be in the front. People don't really want to hurt you, but they do it by asking questions like, next time it's going to be better. And you are like, I mean, I just finished fifth. I mean, <laughs> I think it's all right. But I think the biggest um, pressure is from myself and it will always be. The goal is always winning because that's the reason why I'm going to the start line. Going into race, I have a big routine, I would say. Um, I like to follow because it gives you safety and you don't have to think about decisions. You, so you just can follow the way and focus on the race and not on the steps in between. I think in life it's all about energy floating and at racing you feel so much energy floating. Two minutes before the start, the nerves kicks in, kicking in. I can't do anything against it, so I need, really need my sentences. Just repeating mine, it's like a mantra, it's like a song. I said to myself, Mona, there's just the start and you and nothing else. There's no wrestle, there's no race, there's just the start. <laughs> <laughs> 